Congratulations, you matched with UNMC, but now you are frantically trying to figure out where you should live. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take a look at some of the popular neighborhoods in the UNMC area to give you a better idea of where you may wanna live once you move to Omaha. My name is Ryan Renner and I'm a real estate agent here in Omaha and I help residents, physicians, buy homes while they are attending UNMC. Let's take a look at the very first neighborhood, Blackstone, which is very popular right now, and it's very, very close to UNMC. Now, if you wanna live in one of the most popular entertainment districts in Omaha right now, then you might wanna live in Blackstone. Now, for UNMC, it's actually only a block or two away, so it's a really great option if you want to walk to work or take a bike um, and the downtown area has a lot going for it so it's got a coffee shop it's got the best ice cream shop in omaha it's also got bars restaurants it's also got probably the best hotel in omaha right now so a lot of things going for it blackstone sounds amazing so what are the downsides well if you want to buy a home this isn't really right for you. Most of the places in Blackstone are going to be rentals. Another downside of living in kind of an entertainment district is there's gonna be more commotion. There's gonna be more activity in the evening. So it's not going to be the quietest area to live in. Let's go back to my office in front of a computer, in front of a map, and talk a little bit more about where Blackstone exactly is and a few more details. All right, welcome to my office. So let's take a look on the uh, computer, uh, a map of the area. And first, let's kind of talk about where the University of Nebraska Medical Center at, is in general. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now, I've done a different video about uh, the ge geography of Omaha. So I'm gonna link, uh, link that uh, above so that you can get a better idea of like where the airport is, uh, where some of the attractions are, as well as where the different cities are at, things like that. So I won't go into great detail exactly where UNMC is. This is more just the neighborhoods that surround UNMC. So right here, uh, you know, UNMC is kind of in the middle of Omaha. It's kind of Midtown Omaha is what it's called. And if I zoom in a little bit, uh, you've got I-80, I-480, uh, Dodge Street. These are kind of the major uh, streets that kind of surround uh, the UNMC area. And then you've got uh, 72nd and Dodge over here. Now, uh, the VA Medical Center is right here. So that might be useful for you to know about in case you have to do any type of work there. Um, but the medical center itself is going to be right here. Uh, so it's kind of 42nd in Dodge area in Omaha. Now let's talk about Blackstone itself. So Blackstone is right up against the med center. Uh, you've got, you know, notation on the map here. So the area that I was at when I was filming um, is going to be about right here. So this is going to be where downtown Blackstone is. That's where uh, all the shops are going to be. That's where uh, restaurants, uh, ice cream shop, places like that. There are going to be a few um, uh, apartment complexes that are going to be right near the downtown area. But let's zoom in a little bit more. If, if I had to put boundaries on Blackstone, the thing about Omaha, especially midtown neighborhoods that we're gonna talk about, there are no specific agreed upon boundaries of where one neighborhood starts and one neighborhood begins. So all of these boundaries are gonna be, you know, up to interpretation. So one person may have one opinion, another person may have another opinion. But if I had to kind of put some boundaries on Blackstone, it would kind of be about right here. You know, and this gray area is going to be the med center itself. So Blackstone is going to be kind of this uh, this area right here. Now, Midtown Crossing, which I'll talk about shortly. You know, some people say that's in Blackstone. Yeah, it, it probably is in Blackstone, but I'll talk about that one shortly. Now let's zoom in a little closer uh, and take a look where some stuff is at. So you've got the 
Cottonwood Hotel. That's probably the best hotel at the moment right here. And uh, there's an apart newer apartment complex that's right across from the Cottonwood Hotel. Now, Blackstone has gone through a huge rejuvenation the past five or 10 years. Uh, that includes a lot of these new businesses that are over here, as well as newer apartment complexes. So I was, as I was mentioning before, uh, there aren't a lot of rentals, or I'm sorry, homes to purchase. Most of this area is going to be multifamily or bigger apartment complexes. Some of those apartment complexes are going to be newer. Uh, there is a company called Green Slate Development that has done a lot of the development in the area. So if you're looking for an apartment, uh, it's, you know, you, you may want to reach out to them or go on apartments.com, uh, one of those sites that has uh, a lot of the different uh, apartments that are available. But Green Slate Development is the name of a developer that's done a lot in the uh, Blackstone area including the Cottonwood Hotel there. I'm not going to go into really specifics on what it costs to rent because I'm not an expert at rentals. Uh, I help people buy and sell homes, but this is kind of informative for you. So go on those sites to find the exact prices. Um, another option in the area is going to be uh, Midtown Crossing. Now Midtown Crossing is going to be right over here. So Midtown Crossing is a bigger, newer mixed development project that was done by Mutual of Omaha and it includes a uh, condos uh, as well as apartments and also commercial district. So if I get the cursor here, so Midtown Crossing is going to be uh, where this shaded uh, yellowish area is and then you've got Turner Park right here. So the condos are going to be right here and there's also some apartments and then uh, additional apartments south of Farnham. And if you're a vegan vegetarian, they have a wonderful restaurant called Modern Love um, and several other restaurants, a grocery store as well. So if you live in Blackstone, you could walk to um, uh, the grocery store, get your groceries. You really, if you are you know, attending UNMC, you can do a lot of things in the area without having a car. You can walk to work, you can uh, get to downtown as well. So Dodge Street right here is a, you know, the biggest, probably most important street in Omaha and that has a uh, uh, public transportation orbit bus line that will allow you to get to downtown, like to get to uh, West Omaha, West Roads for shopping uh, very easily. So Blackstone has a lot going for it. If you're looking to buy, like I said, there's not a ton of options for you, but there are gonna be a ton of rental options. Another neighborhood I'm gonna talk about just briefly, which is to the south of the Med Center, is going to be kind of the Field, Field Club Morton Meadows area. So this will have a lot of single family homes uh, that you can rent and also buy. Uh, let me put uh, some boundaries on it. So Morton Meadows, oops, Morton Meadows itself is gonna be right here. And then Field Club is gonna be kind of right here. Now Field Club also includes a, uh, a country club. So if you're into golf, it's really the only golf course that's in the Midtown area. Uh, but Morton Meadows, these areas are going to have uh, older homes, single family homes. Uh, they're going to range from about 200,000 and up. Uh, so very convenient to the Med Center. Um, a lot of different uh, uh, options to choose from. Not gonna be as many newer apartment complexes in this area. There is gonna be one uh, around here, but in this area, it's a lot of single family homes that uh, uh, some are gonna be really big. So if you go to the heart of Field Club over here, they've got some big mansions, if that's what you're into. 
um, but just wanted to kind of touch on that neighborhood briefly. Okay, so the next neighborhood we're gonna talk about is Exarban. Yes, that is how it's pronounced. It's actually Nebraska spelled backwards. Um, right now I'm in Exarban Village, which is kind of the commercial district that is near uh, kind of the Exarban residential neighborhood. So this actually used to be a horse track. And so now it's a big commercial district. The UNO Arena, the Baxter Arena is right across the street. There are movie theaters, corporate headquarter, um, restaurants, uh, a nice park as well. In Exarban Village, you'll also find uh, newer apartment complexes. And then outside Exarban Village, there are going to be a lot of single family homes. Now, some of those homes are going to be for rent, but a lot are for sale as well. So let's talk about where exactly Exarban is. So we've got the map pulled up again. Exarban itself, so where I was when I was uh, doing the video was about right here. So uh, Exarban uh, area is gonna be, uh, or Exar uh, Exarban Village is gonna be right here. Now, in reference to the Med Center, the Med Center is gonna be over here. So you go down Saddle Creek is this road right here that can get you to uh, the Med Center or you take Leavenworth Street. Pretty easy commute. If I were to put boundaries on Exarban, let's zoom in a little bit here so you can kind of still see the Med Center right there. Uh, Exarban itself is going to be Let's see, Exarban itself is gonna be roughly this right here. So that's going to be Exarban. Once you get up here, you're in Dundee, Happy Hollow, which we'll talk about uh, shortly. Uh, but these are gonna be the boundaries. The downtown area, like I said, Exarban Village is going to be right here. A few other things to point out about Exarban and this area in, in, in general is You've got the University of Nebraska Omaha right here. Uh, and then they also have what's called a South Campus. It's called Scott Campus. That is gonna be in this gray shaded area here. So you've got the main campus, Scott Campus. So there are uh, dorm rooms as well as uh, classrooms uh, that are going to be on South Campus near Exarban Village. You also, uh, we'll have the College of St. Mary's right here. That is a all women's uh, uh, college. And then just for your information, uh, Creighton University has a medical center. So Omaha is the smallest uh, city in the country with two medical centers, uh, university medical centers. So Creighton's main medical center is going to be right here in case you ever have to go there for work or something like that. Um, but let's talk about the downtown uh, Exarban Village area. So the Baxter Arena was gonna, is right here. All of this around here is going to be mixed use. So you're gonna have a cinema, you're going to have a corporate headquarters, you're also going to have places to live. So there are different apartment complexes that are newer in this area. So if you're looking to rent, uh, this area right here is lots of newer development with some newer uh, apartment complexes, uh, amenities like that. Once you get away from the downtown area and get over into these streets over here, you will have a lot of single family homes and they're gonna be smaller single family homes uh, you know, 1,200 square feet, 1,400 square feet, uh, smaller lots. One thing to note, if you are looking to rent or buy in Midtown in general, is make sure you know what your parking options are. I say that because most of these homes, they might have a one car garage, or they might not have a garage at all, and you're forced to park on the street. And parking is, sort of a premium in Midtown. Now, it's not gonna be that way on every street, but just be aware of that when you start the hunt is, if you have a car, just know where you're gonna park the car and how, how competitive the parking is going to be. And if you are looking to buy, expect to spend about $200,000 to $350,000 for a home in the Exarban area. And these homes are all going to be older. 
uh, really all the neighborhoods I'm talking about, the homes are gonna be built between 1900 to maybe 1940, 1950. You won't be getting anything that was built in 2000 in these neighborhoods. You'll have apartment complexes that are newer, but you're not really gonna have many options when it comes to buying something that is newer than 1940, 1950. For rentals, you'll have several options in newer buildings such as Pinhook Flats. You've got Broadmoor at Exarban Village. A newer apartment complex was built uh, right next to Baxter Arena right here. So you'll have quite a bit to choose from. Uh, just know, uh, you know, like I said, you've got the College of St. Mary, you've got University of Nebraska Omaha, you've got a lot of students that are going to be you know, hanging out in these areas. The next neighborhood we are going to talk about is Benson. Now, Benson is located near 60th and Maple. Right now I'm in the downtown district, uh, which has quite a bit going for it. So it's got one of the most popular music venues, as well as a bar that doubles as an arcade, a really great sushi restaurant. If you want to live in Benson, it actually has some of the more affordable homes in the area that we've talked about so far. Uh, there are also uh, homes that you can rent as well as apartment complexes that are newer. So it could be a good neighborhood to consider. So let's talk about where exactly Benson is. So once again, you've got the Med Center down here. Benson is going to be up here. Now the downtown area where I was is going to be right here, kind of shaded in this uh, yellow. Uh, zooming out a little bit, if I had to put some boundaries on Benson, let's uh, go on here. Uh, Benson itself is really about right here. You may include some of this area as well. Uh, actually, we could also go down to Western. Um, some of this is sort of Dundee. Uh, like I said, there's no strong uh, boundary, uh, agreed upon boundary. But Benson is full of single family homes, a lot of uh, smaller homes, not too dissimilar to Exarbon. Uh, Benson on the flip side will be a little bit cheaper than Exarbon. So Exarbon homes, if you wanna buy one, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. If you wanted to buy something, expect to spend about 150 to about 275,000. And uh, yeah, Benson will have all a bunch of single family homes that are gonna be smaller. Uh, yards might be a little bit bigger sometimes than Exarbon, but you'll have a pretty easy commute uh, to UNMC. One thing that's great about living in these areas is you don't really have to worry about traffic you're going to be able to get to work in five or 10 minutes. You're not going to have to uh, worry about if there is a backup on a certain street. Uh, what's nice is there's always four or five different ways to get to work. But uh, Benson, great neighborhood if you're wanting to buy. They also will have newer apartment complexes. Really, most of the newer ones are going to be near the downtown Benson area. So you've got Benson Lights, which is right around here. And then uh, another one is the mill. So those are gonna be right about here. Those are the bigger, newer apartment complexes that are close to Benson. You may start seeing more and more new developments pop up with new apartment complexes because Benson, Benson was kind of like Blackstone, but 10, 15, 20 years ago. So Benson went through a rejuvenation when I was kind of in college. And then after Benson went through a rejuvenation, then it went to Blackstone, but Benson is still a wonderful neighborhood. This is actually uh, the first home I ever bought. Um, I lived right up here in Benson. That brings us to my favorite neighborhood in all of Omaha, Dundee. Now I'm a little biased because I actually lived here for 10 years. Uh, my office is right over there. My bank is right over there. But for going to UNMC, it's a really great neighborhood because it's extremely convenient. There are lots of different options to choose from, whether you wanna buy a home. Although the one downside is it is a popular neighborhood, therefore the homes are going to be a little bit more expensive, but there are still a lot of rental options. 
and the downtown area is pretty great. So you've got uh, uh, several restaurants, you've got an ice cream shop, you've got a coffee shop. And other than downtown, it's probably the most walkable neighborhood in Omaha. Okay, so let's talk about Dundee. So where is Dundee? Well, here is the University of Nebraska Medical Center and Dundee where I was, downtown Dundee is going to be right here. It's 50th and Underwood is the cross street of Dun downtown Dundee. And if you had to put some boundaries on this area, uh, sort of contentious of where exactly, you know, Dundee is, what's in Dundee, what isn't, let's, we'll go all the way down to Saddle Creek here and we'll go over, that's going to be Dundee. Now to the north, uh, is a little area uh, called Country Club. Now Country Club is beautiful Tudor homes that is sort of right next to Benson, right next to Dundee. It's just a small little area. Now if you go to the west of Dundee, you will get into an area that's called Fair Acres uh, and also kind of Memorial Park. Now those areas are going to have uh, much more expensive homes. So expect to spend about you know five hundred thousand. Well, five hundred thousand might be cheap. Uh, Six hundred thousand plus for a home in this area right here. Uh, and then th this area right here. If you want to buy a home, you're going to be expecting to spend around you know three fifty or up. Most of the rentals when we talk about Dundee are going to be in this area. Oops, give me a sec. Kind of this area here is gonna have a lot of the different rentals. Now you will still be able to um, uh, rent uh, in these areas. There are a few townhomes, uh, duplexes that you can rent, but this sort of corridor right here is going to have a lot of apartment complexes, a lot of uh, you know, single family homes that you can rent and some newer apartment complexes as well. So one big new apartment complex that is like five or seven years old is called the Duke. So the Duke is gonna be located right here. Uh, I don't know how many units are there, but it's a lot. And it is very convenient to the Med Center. So you can look out your window if you're at the Duke and see the Med Center. Now let's go back and talk a little bit about downtown Dundee. So that's where you're going to have a ice cream shop. You're also going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to have uh, restaurants, bars. There's also an independent movie theater that's gonna be along Dodge Street down here um, uh, called Film Streams. So that shows independent uh, films. And uh, Dundee is popular because you've got Memorial Park right here. You've got streets that are lined with trees. Uh, it's just a, a wonderful neighborhood to live in. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I lived there for about 10 years and I've moved a little bit farther west. But if you're, going, if you're going to be at the Med Center, it's definitely a neighborhood to consider. So that covers some of the neighborhoods near UNMC. There are a lot of other smaller neighborhoods that I didn't cover, and I also didn't really cover much of West Omaha. I'm gonna to try to make another video that goes into a little bit more detail about those areas. So if I've made the video, check up uh, for a link. And if you have any questions, if you're moving to Omaha for the Med Center and wanna buy a home, or even if you have questions about rentals, please reach out to me. I also created omahaphysicianloan.com that could be useful if you are thinking about buying a place. And also, please check out some of my other videos about the Omaha area so that you can become an expert so that when you move here, you're not going to feel like you have no idea what you're doing, where you're living, or what there is to do.